Hello. Good morning. It is uh, just about 7.30 in the morning on Thursday, January 25th. This is the second of this devotional series, trying to keep myself responsible and in check with laying down my Bible and ingesting it and, and reading through it and everything. Um, I don't really have a, a process for going through the Bible. I just kind of read through it, um, particular like passages and chapters and books and things that I feel are fit for the day, um, whether it be through just me looking up things or through my Bible app or something that's recommended. I take a book that's recommended to me and, of course, go through it and read through it and digest what it is telling me. Um, today was a little bit different. I sought out a very particular set of ideals and passages that I wanted to go through and I found one in Ecclesiastes that is both humbling and I think something that a lot of Christian peoples forget and that is a kind of our responsibility and our understanding of how God works. Small little passage, um, Ecclesiastes 12 verses 13 through 14. I'll read them now. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. And I think even, you know, me, um, I mean, I'm sure even more experienced and inebriated peoples in Christian life tend to kind of be gloss over or forget that every single thing that we do will be looked at, judged. And I don't think fear God here means fear as in be scared of God or be like in fear of him. I, I think it's more of a respect or a reverence for God's glory, um, kind of what he is going to be doing, as it were. Um, and so with that, I think we should always look at the broader picture of what God is going to be doing at the end of our time here on earth, um, whether it be at the end of our lives or when the second coming happens, whenever that may be. It could be, as I'm recording this video, it could be tomorrow, it could be next week, it could be a thousand years from now. But at any time, everything will be judged at any given moment. Um, and I think we need to be prepared for that. Um, and, I, I mean, these verses right here, the whole of the matter, fear God, and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. And I think sometimes we sort of forget that. I know I do. Um, and as Christians, I think we should be fully aware of that at any given moment. It doesn't have to be front of mind at, at everything. Like, I don't, I don't think it's good to be, like, cooking dinner or something and be like, well, God could come. And judge my dinner making. That's not necessarily that. It's just keeping the commandments that are going to be judged. So, that's the verses for today. Now, let's go over some prayer. Kind of in the theme of respecting God and making sure we're keeping up with what he is doing. I'm going to put this back in its sleeve. Dear Lord, thank you for this morning, this lovely day. Got up bright and early this morning, feeling good, feeling energized, ready to take on the world today, Lord. Um, I do think that we tend to forget how righteous and how just you are in all of your judgments and how and how 
your mercy towards everything, all of the actions we do, because we all fall short of you there, Lord. But by your grace and by your mercy, you are front and center. And ultimately, your judgment is, is just. I respect you. I revere you, Lord. And if it wasn't for you sending yourself here, then I would be nothing. Sometimes your commandments fall on the back of our minds. And even in that, your grace is still always eternal and extremely powerful. And I thank you for that every single day. I thank you for watching over my family and my lovely girlfriend's family and all of the extended families out from both ends of us and looking over the world. I know you have the right state of mind. I know you have us always in the palm of your hands there, Lord, all in the best interests of us. You are just so good, Lord. So good. Your will be done for the entire earth with me, my family, my girlfriend. And I hope, I know, your will is the, the right track for how the world should operate. And for that, Lord, I could I can't be... There's no way I can be more grateful than I already am. Thank you for all you do, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. I hope to continue this, uh, this devotional series daily and keeping myself responsible through all of my scripture and Bible reading. So thank you for watching. God bless.